Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-4193. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures All known instances of SCP-4193 are to be kept in a secure container at Site-23. Test subjects may only be administered more than one dose of SCP-4193 if due for termination or if a long-term humanoid containment cell is available. Description SCP-4193 is the group designation for a supply of 32 blue pharmaceutical caplets, 8 mm in diameter with the Playboy bunny embossed on one side. The first time an SCP-4193 caplet is ingested, it acts as a combination of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, of the propionic acid class and a tryptin, only with nearly instant effect and no side effects other than slight pupil dilation. SCP-4193 relieves migraines, cluster headaches, fever, swelling, and muscle stiffness. If the subject suffers from chronic migraines, intervals between regular episodes will increase from 30 to 180 days. The second time a particular subject is administered an SCP-4193 caplet, in addition to the above effects, the subject's eyes, including the skull's eye sockets and all connective and nerve tissue, painlessly decrease in size by 50% over the course of half a second. After the metamorphic change, the subject is myopic, nearsighted, similar to some cases of microthalmia and or nanothalmus. The subject acquires the anomalous ability to focus on objects to a level of detail approximately equivalent to utilizing an optical microscope at 10 times magnification. Subjects describe using this anomalous ability as like zooming in with a camera. Subsequently, each time an SCP-4193 caplet is ingested, the subject's eyes decrease in size by another 50%. The myopia becomes more acute and the possible magnification increases tenfold. This process reaches a limit when a subject's eyes are one millimeter in diameter, providing vision that tests at approximately 6 over 30 on the visual acuity scale and correlating with the anomalous ability to focus on nearby objects with the equivalent of roughly 10,000 times magnification. However, from the third SCP-4193 caplet onward, SCP-4193 releases anywhere from 40 to milligrams of MDMA into the subject's bloodstream whenever taken. While some test subjects consistently received a relatively safe amount of MDMA, multiple test subjects died from acute MDMA toxicity following hypothermia, hyponatremia, serotonin syndrome, and multiple organ failure before reaching the limit of SCP-4193's anomalous effects. Test subjects may report hallucinations after taking an SCP-4193 caplet. On average, hallucinations started after the fourth or fifth dose. Once experienced, these side effects never abate and can be divided into three categories of hallucinations. Some humans are seen as modal corpses, wet with rot and extensively infested with slow-moving worms or maggots. The worms are invariably described as approximately 0.1 millimeters thick and never described as longer than 5 millimeters. Some humans, usually authority figures or loved ones, are perceived as human-shaped swarms of insects. Swarm organisms are of varying types and no individual insect is ever described as longer than 5 millimeters. Subjects report minuscule humanoids, 2 to 10 millimeters in height, which attempt to crawl into the orifices of living humans, especially the test subject. Supplement 4193-1 Discovery a bottle of SCP-4193 caplets was discovered while examining the effects of a minor person of interest, Rhonda Clayton, after her reported death on 2016-1103 at age 94. On acquisition, the caplets were stored inside a commercially available 8-dram amber vial with a reversible cap and laser-printed label in Comic Sans which read, Migraine Medicine E by Dado. Take one pill, not two you trust Dado. The only other medicines found were over-the-counter painkillers and 15 Nuplazid, Pimavanserin, 34 mg capsules, in a bottle that indicated that they had been prescribed to a local acquaintance of person of interest Clayton. Starting at the age of 20, Rhonda Clayton had acquired an extensive criminal record, 
with charges including fraud, racketeering, and violation of the Harrison Narcotics Tax Act. After being released from prison in 1962, no further negative interactions with the law appeared on Clayton's public record, not even traffic violations. Starting in 2013, Clayton made a small name for herself in the non-anomalous art scene in her home state of Texas, carving toothpicks into miniature sculptures using dental tools. Clayton came to Foundation attention in 2014 when she started cultivating friendships in the anomalous art scene including an extensive mail correspondence with person of interest. In addition, Foundation agents found the following email correspondence on a desktop PC in person of interest Clayton's bedroom. Evidence, in conjunction with the bottle's label, that the SCP-4193 caplets had been produced by Dado, a person of interest responsible for creating anomalous pharmaceutical products and anomalous businesses. This email thread will be presented as an audio log. Playing log now. Hello, darling. A friend of mine tells me you're an expert in alternative medicine. Yes, I am Dado. Hello. Well, you see, I'm as healthy as a horse, except I have these terrible migraines. Just awful. Normal medicines don't help me much. The doctors tell me I shouldn't take too many painkillers. They say that makes it worse. Can you believe that? Does that even make sense to you? Can you help me, please? I make for you. You trust Dado. I ship to you in one week. No charge. I have ammo's under prime. Oh, Mr. Dado, are you all right? I sometimes pound on the keyboard like that when I have a migraine. It's like my eyes are too big for my skull. Sometimes I close my eyes and push on them. And that does help a little even though I'm not supposed to do that. I sometimes feel like if only something could make my eyeballs shrink, the pain would go away. <laughs> Sorry, hamster walk on keyboard. I help you with eye too. Oh, you can help with the pressure too. I'm in ecstasy, Mr. Dado, and it's reassuring to know you have a pet. I can do E2. I already make. You'll get them soon. Mr. Dado, honey, these are amazing. I took wood and the pain and the pressure went away instantly. I'm going to tell all my friends about you and your amazing work. Please leave feedback on Amazon. All my friends don't pay attention to Amazon, hon. I'll do that, but I'll give you some word of mouth. P.S. The little Playboy Bunny is cute, but I'm a little old for that, Mr. Dado. God, what do these pills do? What did you do to me? You read label? One pill, not two. Oh, Mr. Dado, you misunderstand. I didn't take two on the same day. It's been months and months since I've had a migraine. But that never happens. I'm so impressed with your little blue pills. Oh, I was a little horrified when my eyes shrank. But then when I was able to work on my toothpick art without a magnifying glass, even more detail. Mr. Dado, you are a godsend. I can wear my sunglasses when I go out or when someone visits. At my age, I can't afford vanity anyway. It's like you anticipated my needs. I'm going to recommend you to everyone. Yes, no more than two same day. That's what they don't meant. Please leave feedback on Amazon Prime. Thank. Holy shit. I want to go dancing. <laughs> leave in all the feedback. Additional email correspondence on the desktop computer confirmed that person of interest Clayton recommended person of interest Dado to relatives and acquaintances of her old criminal contacts and to her associates in the art scene. Foundation analysis conclude that person of interest Clayton's recommendations are a contributory factor in the request subsequently received by person of interest Dado. End lock. Person of interest Clayton died in a head-on collision with a semi-truck after driving on the left side of the I-35 highway in her 2002 Honda Civic at a speed of roughly 100 kilometers per hour, greatly attenuating the length of her vehicle and pulverizing most of her body, including the skull. When person of interest Clayton's home in Austin, Texas was searched by the Foundation, in addition to the desktop computer and SCP-4193, Agents discovered a sculpture different from person of interest Clayton's usual work. The sculpture is nine feet tall, vaguely humanoid, with bovine-like horns, and made of approximately 200,000 interlocking toothpick carvings. 
each of a maggot with a smiling human face. The sculpture had attached a post-it note, photographed below. The post-it note reads, Yes, I am Dado. Okay, I think that about does it for today. Apologies for my voice today, I'm kind of sick. But thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you're all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Big Sip, Zargaron, O Crop Guy, The Morrigan, James Saba, Disc Lose Ray 420, That Loser, Heroin Sick, Fire of Prime, Indie vs. the World, Spencer Ardoin, Rubbish Bin 69, Dr. Wolf 13, Cupster, Worthy Fire, Zazapan, Lamke, Signar, Alatreon, Your Local Foundation Agent, Derivative, Lost Boy, and Lyndon B. Johnson. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.